Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 15 in the PHP programming series and in this video we're going to cover the for each loop. So the for each loop will allow us to loop through variables, sorry loop through arrays and take out all of the values from that array and do whatever we want with them so let's just start our PHP closing starting and closing tags and save this as for.php and the first thing we need to do and you should know how to do this is declare an array. Now this array again is going to be called names and we're going to put the values of names as an array and be Chris, Tom and Bob and the, these, that's simply just creating an array the names Chris, Tom and Bob you know if we just print are this array and that will just give us the value of each of each of the parts of the array so for the PHP you know we've got Chris, Tom and Bob so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a for each loop and this for each loop will loop through each value of this array and then we can do something with each of those values by setting the array to a variable so what we're going to do is do for each and then we'll have some brackets and curly braces right here for when we put our code and the argument in the for each is we're going to say for each and then here is going to be the variable, sorry, the array name, and that is names. And then we put as. And now we need to declare a name of the variable that we're going to use in the code. So I'm just going to say person. So what we've done here is every time this this um, loops, it's going to look at the names array, and it's going to declare a variable of the v current value. So either Chris, Tom, or Bob, um, as the variable person. So we can now use that. We can say echo the name is and then we can concatenate a um, person, we can use person as the name of the person and save that and that should loop through every one of the people so if we just go over this again it's saying for each part of the names array we are going to use the variable person to represent the current array value so 0 then 1 then 2 so if we reload this it says the name is Chris, Tom and Bob. So we've looped through that array using the for each loop. So that's pretty much all the for each loop is. It can it will loop through arrays. And you might find this useful useful a lot of times, say if you're passing something out and then you need to loop through each part of that array that you've passed it into. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Please like the video and subscribe and, you know, I hope you enjoyed it, so keep on watching.